Boy, do we have a treat today. This is something that uh, uh, I don't see very often. It's a, it's a Merwin Hulbert, uh, 38 Smith & Wesson uh, pocket revolver with, complete with, folding hammer. It's a patented folding hammer. I've seen it before on Hopkins and Allen, and believe it or not, that's who put these together. That's who manufactured these for Merwin Hulbert. It's uh, it's kind of a, a neat little handgun. Let's see if we can uh, get a little closer to it. Right there, it says 38 cal, and got mother of pearl grips. I believe that is correct but I'm not uh, an authority on those, trust me. It could very well be not, but I suspect it is. This, uh, this, can, um, this is a double action pocket, so, and that's what the folding hammer's for, so you can put it in your pocket, so it won't catch. And it's a double, or with that folding hammer, you can use it as single action. Um, Here's the bottom, um, and let's turn it over. It's made out of nickel. Of course, it's got the uh, mother curl pearl grips on the other side too. It's it's complete set. Now, unlike the Colts, the loading gate on this one pulls down just like that. So it's a little different, and um, it's a lot different, <laughs> at least to me. Um, Loading gates there, nickel. If we look on the top of the barrel, we'll see the patent markings and the date, which is Mer Merwin Hulbert. Can you see that? New York, March 14th, let's say 82. Oh, and there's another one, January 9th, 80, or, oh, I can't see it. Let's put it this way, I can't see it with the camera. But, um, there we have it. Let's see if we can take maybe a little closer look at it. No, oh, by the way, this particular model came out with, um, you could get it with one or two barrels, two different lengths. The barrel that's currently on there, I don't believe it's been shot ever. It's got a two and a half inch barrel on it. Bore looks pristine. Um, and then the barrel beside it to the left is a five and a half. And if you look a little closely, you can see that uh, something has happened on that one. Looks like it's had some, some powder or something that nobody could remove. Of course, black powder back then. So I don't think it's been shot too many times, but it sure looks um, really good, by the way. The barrel on these should be serialized the same as the gun and the barrel, the other barrel. And uh, there's the top of that one as well. All right. Um, and then looking at this, I never noticed this before, but we do have some case coloring here on that hammer. Not the folding part itself, but um, the hammer itself. And uh, it's just, uh, well, it's right here. There. And the same on this side. It's, it's kind of a little bit uh, uh, dim. And then if you look, you've got a patent date on that folding hammer. And let's see if we can see it. January 27th. I hate it when I can't see. Um, 86, maybe? Is that light? And that's the patent date on there. So um, it is kind of neat. I've never seen, uh, I've, I've actually never seen another one exactly like this, at least in front of me and then it's got the word and then it's been ground off of that hammer but that folding hammer it's got the word PAT I believe there on the top alright so that's what we have and 
uh, just thought it might be something that uh, everyone might want to appreciate. It's, it's kind of a neat gun. All right, if we take a little closer look, we'll see there's a couple things that are extra here. We've got a button here at the bottom, and we also have on the other side another one here. This one here, we all to uh, to shut the the empty cartridges out. You, of course, you want this this folding hammer here, and you want it to be clicked back because with that firing pin in there, it won't allow you to do it. So you push back, turn it, and pull it off. When you pull it like that, it just automatically shucks only the empties, only the empties. And when it shucks those out, then um, you can actually, if they're all empty, you can actually uh, turn it. Oops, turn it, put it back in. All right, so I'll see that again. Turn it out, push back in. Kind of neat for something back in the 1880s. I believe this was manufactured. The last date on it uh, looks like 18. 83 so it was manufactured after that so probably 1885 to 1891 okay the folding hammer is is really I've seen that on Hopkins and Allen too so uh, it does have a mm, a patent number on there or it's got a patent date all right so we're gonna jump to um, to load it, of course this has got to be back, you uh, push our loading gate down, now you can turn it, load, turn it, load, turn it, load, turn it, load. This is all for, yes, black powder, so it was kind of neat. Alright, up, loaded, it's not loaded, but you can shoot it single or double. So, single or double. There's single. Here's double. And it's just, oh boy, it's a dream. Anyway, it's something that I've never... Uh, seen before in the 1880s and it's a little bit ahead of its time unfortunately uh, Merwin Hulbert uh, went out of business oh by the way this button when you get this open I oh, can't open it because this so push the button spin it then we can push on this button of course pull it out completely with or without um, the uh, the cylinder in it, same thing. Usually, you want to pull it to the end, then push, and then pull the whole cylinder and all. Something like that. Same thing. Push it back in. Twist, turn, back together. All right. So if that's our uh, Merwin Halbert uh, pocket, thirty-eight. Smith and Wesson, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it.